welcome to today's session so today we are looking at question 11 from the 2021 mathematics paper 2 prepared by the examination council of zambia so question 11 comes from quadratic equations and this is one of the questions that is usually always there and the question that asked are almost 99 percent the same so if you understand how to answer this question step by step you are assured of these 12 free marks. So let us look at the question. Answer this part of the question on a sheet of graph paper. The values of x and y are connected by the equation y is equal to x multiplied by open bracket x square minus 4 close bracket. Some corresponding values of x and y are given in the table below. Calculate the value of r. Okay, so that's Loma numero 1. So we use the same function that we've been given. In this case, we've been given uh, y is equal to, then we have x minus x square minus 4. So what you notice here is at r, the value of x is negative 2. So just substituting there negative 2, multiply by. So in open bracket, negative 2. Remember, negative 2 is the entire number that we are squaring minus 4. So make sure that you get the entire number. So what we get is negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 square or negative 2 times negative 2. We get a 4. 4 minus 4 is this thing is a 0. So this thing is a 0. So we'll end up with basically um, negative 2 multiplied by 0 which is basically 0. So the value of y there is basically 0. So that's how you answer this question to get this one mark. So let us go to question number two. It says using a scale of two centimeters to represent one unit on the x axis for x is greater or equal to negative three but less or equal to three and two centimeters to represent ten units on the y axis for y is greater or equal to negative 20 but less or equal to 20 draw the graph of this curve and this curve is the one that we have on the table okay so what we know is we've been given all the values except we haven't been given the turning point so in this case we don't know exactly when the value uh, becomes maximum so when you go to the graph the graph so what we need is we can put these coordinates on the graph so put them on the graph so let me just light them so we have two centimeters what it means two centimeter if you look here from here to here this is the two centimeters are talking about then from here to here this is the two centimeter so you'll be provided with a graph a standard graph in an exam and it will look like the one that you are seeing on the screen so now let me just label this one so what it means is from here one centimeter remember one, one unit two centimeters represent one unit so one unit here is we have a one here then we have a two here which is two centimeter now two centimeter then we have a three so this is the, the light then we go to the left of the x-axis so we have negative one at this point then we have negative two at this point then we have negative three at this point and this is the x-axis so the x-axis so i need to label them properly so we have x-axis then we have y axis on top you need to label them properly then we come to this side two centimeters represent 10 units so two centimeter is here so this is 10 then another this one which is 20 which is y up to 20 then you come down here which is negative 1 then we come here negative negative 10 sorry then negative 20 then we would have done what we are looking for okay then it's easier to graph this okay so what you notice here is we start with this one when x is negative 3 y is negative 15 so negative 15 is halfway uh this so negative 15 is basically we say 
somewhere at the middle where we, yeah, this is so negative 3 is 15 is halfway which is at this point you see this point okay where i've put the star then we come here is we found this is zero at negative two so negative two this is at zero so i'm going to use a black marker so that we distinguish from blue and black so that one then we have negative one the value of y is three negative one the value of y is three so we have three points because these are ten these are ten units so we need to do three so we have one two three So three is somewhere here at this point. Okay. Then we have zero comma zero. So zero comma zero is at this the origin. Then we have one comma negative three. So one comma negative three is somewhere here. Then we have two comma zero, which is at this point. Then we have fifteen comma three comma fifteen when x is three. Uh y is 15 which is somewhere at the middle here the middle point which is basically somewhere here okay like that then we can join this line but before we join this line we need to find the maximum point of this graph the two turning point where the graph changes the slope so how to do that we can just differentiate so expand that x times x square is x to the power 3 minus 4x so the turning point is find, found where the graph basically changes its direction at this where the gradient is equal to zero that's what we are calling the turning point so to find that turning point we need to differentiate this one with respect to x so i think the change in y as a result of change as a result of change in x so we have dy then dx is equal to 3x square minus 4. then this change at the point where the graph is changing the direction the change there is zero so you got this to zero and so for x so 3x square is equal to minus 4 is equal to zero then we have 3x square is equal to 4 then we divide by 3 we divide by 3 so we get x is equal to x square is equal to 4 over 3 so basically the value of x will be equal to the square root of 4 over 3 which is basically equal to Remember, you are allowed to use a calculator in uh, an, a paper two, so you end up with basically a positive or negative one point one five five, which is x is equal to so one point two, or x is equal to negative one point two. So at negative one point two, x reaches the maximum and at positive one point two, x reaches the maximum. So point one two is somewhere here. And here it reaches the maximum okay so if you substitute there using a calculator to find that maximum value to find the maximum value what you discover is you have basically 1.2 then you are multiplying by 1.2 square then minus 4 so what you find is the minimum turning point is basically a 3.1 so just a slightly above here when it's 1.2 somewhere here you reach that maximum even here you reach at negative 1.1 you are going to reach a basically similarly positive 3 point just slightly above so now what you do after this you join these lines so you join these lines smoothly like this is maximum then it start coming down something like that which will be something similar to this then the graph will go like that but it has to be smooth okay it has to be a smooth curve something similar to this so once you do that what you discover is like this then the question will go on to ask you is use your graph which is number three use your graph to find this question where x open bracket x multiplied by x square minus four is equal to zero is equal to zero so again let me just lab, lab, lab this so that i create space
okay so what you are looking for in this case is a point where this graph is basically is uh crossing the equal sign the 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 the, 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 the zero point sorry so it's crossing the zero so it's at this point you've seen these points these are the points eh, that we are looking for where the graph itself is equal to zero so if you notice here is we have two the values here already known so we have basically at this point is see the value use the graph to solve this one what's the value of x here the value of x is negative negative two okay so a eh, we have negative two or here x is equal to number two x is equal to zero or here x is equal to two so these are the values that we are looking for for this part of the equation then we can this one where it says x okay x multiplied by so x multiplied by which is number b x multiplied by x squared minus 4 is equal to 2 so what this tells us we have two equations so we have the original this is remember this part is the original equation which is y is equal to x square minus or just x not x square which is x so x multiplied by x square minus 4 then we have equation 2 which i'll call 2 y2 or just y so because they're not different so y which is equal to 2 so we have these two equations so now what we're trying to achieve is a case where these two equations are the same so what you do is basically you use your ruler okay you get your ruler and you get your ruler you bring it to your ruler like at the two exactly two units there and draw a straight line so you draw a straight line okay so you draw a straight line here so you draw this straight line using your ruler when, once you draw this straight line then lead where these two points intersect where these two lines intersect okay so you should be able to draw properly using a ruler in your exam to be like that straight line okay something like this so once you draw it so to remove this part which is denting it then you have to lead the values so remember this function is basically y is equal to x minus x square minus 4 then this one is y is equal to 2 this function okay then you need to come here and lead where these curves are meeting these curves are meeting so what you notice here is what you notice basically here you are going to have the values okay you are going to have the values so ideally this curve if you do it properly it will meet somewhere at almost at halfway that's where it will intersect then you come and lead the value here you've seen here at this point you lead the value so that value will be somewhere 2.2 .2. okay then you come and lead the value here somewhere and this value will be basically negative 0 0.55 then you come and lead the last part of the value somewhere where this curve it will meet somewhere like this so it will be somewhere here which will be basically one point about 1.65 so we're going to have three values of x so x will go to basically 2.2 2. that's for b we are looking for b then x will also equal to a uh, minus 0.55 or or in those range or, or 0 negative 0.6125 but approximately is negative 0.55 then x will equal to negative 1.65 like that then we have all those so those will give you approximately equal to 2 so basically this is how you deal with this question so let us move to the last part of the question which is question b 
So question B say find the equation. So let me just go to the the bigger screen. This one. So we are saying find the equation of the normal to the curve y is equal to x square minus x plus four at the point negative one comma six. So when you are saying a curve is normal to the equation, so we have or a curve. So if you have a curve like this. The first thing that we need to know is we have a tangent. So if you draw a tangent line such that they are meeting here, they just at the point. So what we know is equation that is tangent to the curve, they share the same gradient. They have the same slope at the point of tangent, tangents. Then a normal to the curve is a line drawn such that these curves, the tangent and that line equation, they meet at 90 degrees, which is they are perpendicular to each other. So if the perpendicular to each other, it means this principle where the gradient from the 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 equation which is tangent to the curve, you multiply by the normal equation to the curve, the product of their gradient is equal to negative one. Okay. So if this is the case, given this function, we can find the gradient of the tangent line to the curve by using by just differentiating the function so what you do is we just go and differentiate this function okay we differentiate so let me just create space so we're going to differentiate this function with respect to x so we're saying the change in y as a change as a result of change in x so we have y is equal to x square minus x plus four then find the y the x is equal to basically 2x minus 1. Then the gradient at this point, which is negative 1, comma 6, we, sub we substitute for x where there is x here, so we end up getting 2 multiplied by negative 1 minus 1, which is basically negative 3. So negative 3. So if that's the case, we can find easily find the gradient of the normal curve by m2 is equal to basically negative 1 over m1 which is basically negative 1 divided by uh, negative 3, which is basically 1 over 3. So having found the, the, the gradient, we can easily find the equation by using this standard equation in line, or equation is given by a linear equation given by m multiplied by x plus c. So we know what m is, you see this one, 1 over 3. We can find y, we know y, what y is at this point, then we can we know what x is, so we can find this c. So substituting, we have 6 is equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by negative 1 plus c. So we get 6 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 3 plus c. Then solving for c, so c becomes a 6 plus 1 over 3. Remember, once this one crosses the equal sign, it becomes a positive. So basically c is equal to 6, 6, 1 over 3. Okay, 6, 1 over 3. That's what c is, which is, okay. Then having found what c is, we can just substitute now. Substitute. So by substituting in this equation, we found that you can easily discover that. Let me just lab here so that I have enough space. You can easily see that. Uh, y is equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by x plus uh, basically 6, 1 over 3. So this is the equation which is normal to the curve. So basically this is how you answer question uh, 11.